scriptwriter slash for this production, also the producer and general manager of Oceanborn. I wear many hats. So Oceanborn is a new musical about Vikings and feminism and female empowerment and how awful xenophobia is. And it's generally really political, but mostly also about how amazing female friendship is and how best friends we can do anything, which is totally cliche, but also given the whole story of Oceanborn, pretty true. Working with this female creative team has been absolutely insane. I just left a rehearsal that was entirely women. Like we have a female director, we have a female AD, we have a female sound designer. We've got so many incredible and powerful women involved in this show. It has been absolutely amazing and so eye-opening to work with all of them. We've got this really cool cast and creative that is majority female and entirely under 30 which is really unheard of in musical theater to have a team that's like 90% teenage girls and female like 20 somethings who are out there like kicking ass and taking names. And going throughout this entire process as young women and getting to develop all of these ideas that aren't usually shown on stage and getting to work in this industry that is so dominated by men has just been incredible because I've never been a part of a team like this. And I think most of the other women on this team haven't been a part of a team like this either. And we're really getting to tell our stories exactly how we want to. I think another amazing part of this process is that I've gotten to be friends with the cast, which I feel like is not normal necessarily for writers. Like most writers are usually sort of like off editing the script and stuff, which I am. I'm just doing it on the floor with my best friends who are the cast. It's just been so incredible to get to know all of these other young artists who are my age and who are out there being their badass selves and so talented and just so kind and so ready to hear the message of Oceanborn and going forward with Oceanborn, I am so excited to get to work with these same people for the rest of my, you know, like 20s. It's an incredible time to have such an amazing group of best friends and I'm just so lucky to have found these people. There is not a single line from the original script in this piece. Mari rewrote probably a third of the songs for this production. We cut like eight songs. Basically nothing is the same. Um, the main characters are the same. The love that Finn and Era feel for each other is the same. But I think when we first wrote this show, we were teenage girls who were very excited about Broadway. We are now 20-somethings who have been in the industry for a while. And it's given us a more nuanced perspective and also the change in the political climate has definitely influenced the way that we see the world now versus the way that we saw the world a few years ago. And I don't think that that change is bad. I think that it's important that Mari and I are growing as people and as such want to incorporate new views and new ideas into our story, but it is also a little sad to see Oceanborn grow up because it grew from this beautiful story of two best friends to now having to encompass more because Mari and I don't feel that we can, in good conscience, present a story that's quite that one note. We think we need to include the other side of it and the side that is hard and the side that is not understanding the other side and the side that is realistic and still beautiful but a little bit more painful and so watching Oceanborn grow up and watching Oceanborn become something that's shared by so many people is amazing but it's a little bit sad that it can't just be the original story we wrote on the living room floor when we were teenagers and now it needs to grow up just like we've grown up throughout this process. probably be that people do not want to take bets on teenage girls work. We have a product that is very financially viable. We've shown time and time again that our content that we are creating is worthy of people's emotional investment and financial investment. However, because we are a team entirely composed of girls in college, people are skeptical about wanting to invest in us, which I understand, but it's also been a big challenge just to sort of look at what we have, everything we have going for us, and knowing that 
if we were a group of men who were 30 years older, that this show would be an entirely different place than it is right now. And knowing that that is not the, necessarily the result of any specific people's prejudices, it's just the general opinions of this industry. And we're working hard to change that. Mari and I are trying to get the message out there, and as I've been producing this entire show, I've worked hard to be professional and to come to people with numbers, with statistics, with projections and outlooks about how our show is gonna do financially, about how, like, what our growth rates are in terms of social media, and how fast our music is spreading and stuff like that. But I have to be 10 times as professional as a producer, as a 20-year-old girl, as somebody who's twice my age and a man would be. I have always been a massive Broadway fan, but stories on Broadway, as much as teenage girls love them, are not usually written for teenage girls. And teenage girls make up a massive proportion of this world. And teenage girls become the women that run the world. And so we need to be writing stories that are not just capitalizing upon them as cute little things we can put on stage, but are truly writing to their wants and their questions and all of the pain that they are feeling and the pain that you feel growing up in this world. It's a really overwhelming time to be young and female with everything you see on the news, with everything you hear happening politically. We need to tell a story that reaches out to young girls everywhere and says that you are going to make it through this, that you have agency, that you have the power to enact the change that you want to see in the world, and that there will always be other girls out there listening. That's why I want to tell Ocean Boy the story. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three! 